This morning, an explosion of COVID cases across China. The country's own experts say more than 840 million people could be infected within months, and already grim signs that people are dying. We've made multiple visits to funeral sites in Beijing designated for COVID victims, where we found long lines of funeral vans coming one after another. Drivers and funeral home staff confirming they're busier than usual. Crematoriums in the city working around the clock. But the wider picture emerging here isn't reflected in government numbers. Officially, only nine COVID deaths have been recorded this month in the entire country. Yet data modeling out of the U.S. projects that COVID could kill more than a million people in China next year. Vaccination rates among the elderly remain low, and some experts say infections here are now doubling every day. There's no pre-existing immunity from prior waves of COVID because there haven't been prior waves of COVID in China. That's different to other parts of the world. And so the only immunity is from vaccination, and that doesn't do much to stop infection. After backlash and protests last month in several cities, China's strict zero COVID measures were abruptly lifted two weeks ago, triggering a surge, though the virus was likely already spreading. Pharmacies now can't keep medications in stock, and there aren't enough ICU beds, therapeutic drugs, or testing kits. There are shortages of everything. Overflow clinics have been set up to meet demand. The worry is that the healthcare system can't keep up. Like a lot of people here, Ivy Guan has been staying at home. To be honest, I was quite scared before I got COVID, she says, adding her symptoms aren't so bad. But there is a looming worry that wide-scale infection in China will create new COVID variants that could impact the rest of the world in the long winter months ahead. The whiplash change in rules here caught most people unprepared, with the government going from full enforcement for three years to effectively saying to people, you're on your own. Uh, remember, up until a few weeks ago, testing positive for COVID here meant get dra getting dragged away to quarantine and having a fence locking down where you live. Uh, when we all got it last week, I still expected there to be a knock at the door. So it's been a big adjustment for people people here, but it's an important one as people are being told to brace for a second, even a third wave of infection in the new year. Chanel? That is concerning. All right, Janice, thank you. Glad Janice is doing better, too. Absolutely. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.